Hey guys, welcome to Devlog3. My name is Mitch and let's get into the video. We've got quite a lot of things to talk about today, so let's go. So after uploading the first two devlogs, I have received a lot of comments, a lot of feedback. So in this part of the devlog, I'm going to talk about all the comments I have received and also all the recommendations people have told me to try and do. Um, I've also attempted loads of different things such as um, looking into other games such as Darkwood and I've even tried to look into another game called Voyage of the Deep. Um, I've also read the comments and someone said about not scaling up my objects so I attempted not to scale up my objects which you'll see on the screen now. With um, trying to build my game around not scaling up the objects it became a bit of a challenge because I had a few bugs where the character wouldn't jump so I had to completely restart. So overall I'm going to keep reading the comments, I'm going to keep doing what you guys suggest. Um, I do enjoy reading the comments, if you guys want to leave a comment on this video for me to look out then yeah leave a comment, I will read all the comments, um, so yeah. Two hundred subscribers. Wow, I couldn't even believe this. So I just want to say thank you very much for two hundred subscribers. I've um, I've never really hit this milestone before. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. So for this celebration, I want to open up a Discord server so you guys can communicate with me if you want to. I'll be talking all the time on there. I'll be showing like game updates. I will be a public vote channel so people can vote on what ideas I should do next, uh, what styles they prefer and uh, yeah so please at, like check out my discord server I've not really done discord before but I will like you know I'll, t I'll talk to you guys you know so hit me up on discord After having a little bit of a break from game development, I came back and I thought, what needs to be done? So I asked you guys last week, what should the name of my game be? And you know what? I thought about this. Uh, I've even had a comment saying, just keep it the same. So I thought, okay, the game is officially called The Manor. And I decided to design a brand new logo for it. I also decided to design or change up the style of the font in all of the game because it feels too realistic whereas the game is a pixel based game so I used a different font for all the uh, like text and the prompts within the game. So yeah let me know what you think of the new logo and the new font down below in the comments. So I have a brand new gameplay mechanic I would like to show you guys. It is basically smashing your flashlight. So after falling from a high like area, your flashlight will smash and there will be an animation obviously with the character later on down the line. I'm not too sure if to have it so there's traps within the mana and if you fall down the trap then obviously your flashlight will smash and it'll basically be like, you know when Mario falls down like a pit and he dies, but this will be like obviously you f smash your flashlight and then like people come and you will obviously be killed. Or I don't know if to have it as an actual unique gameplay feature where there's a level dedicated to smashing your flashlight and you've got to walk around in the complete utter darkness. Now I think both ideas sound really good, but tell me what you think down below. So last week I said to you guys I was going to show you the menu design for this week. Well, I've done it and I'm willing to show you guys. I'm actually really proud of this, but basically depending on what level you are, the background behind the player will change. And obviously as I've only done level one at the moment, you can just see level one. Um, I also want it so the character can actually activate his flashlight just for a little like little cool easter egg type You know just to make the game fun, you know The character can't move but it's just flashing the light on the main menu screen, which is pretty unique. So yeah, that's the menu design Today is upload day, so I do want to say to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video um, I hope you enjoyed the video. There probably wasn't as much content as there was in the last two devlogs. I've been a bit busy this week, but I promise you 
from this day onwards for to next week i'm going to be working hard at trying to get the game looking as good as possible maybe even attempt to start level two but one thing i definitely do want to do is restructure level one to make it look better to make it obviously to make kind of the horror aspects work to make the game more atmospheric so let me know what you guys think uh also yeah obviously like i said earlier don't forget to check my discord out subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video comment below and i will comment on all the comments and like the comments you know what i mean guys so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and peace see you next week